How many requests have you had for tickets for the game Sunday? Um, the normal amount, you know. Um, that's been crazy. Nah, nah, went too bad. What, what was your initial reaction when Matt told you that yes, you're going to be starting Sunday? Um, I think it was you know pretty pretty much even killed. Um, you know, I, I think I had a good idea that I was you know uh, might possibly start, so I wasn't really su surprised by it. But um, you know, just just uh, just kind of focused and you know uh, just trying to get prepared for Sunday. Do you had a chance to sit back at all and just reflect on the journey to this point and you know try to kind of give meaning to it before you really just focus on the game itself? Um, no, not really. I'm trying to you know just. Uh, keep all the outside distractions uh, out of the way and just, you know, focus on Sunday and prepare the best I can. How much of a benefit is it for you to get all the starting reps in practice leading up to the game versus coming into a game when you're not expected to play? I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to help me, uh, you know, more than last week, of course, you know, just getting reps with the uh, offense instead of just working with the scout offense. So um, it's definitely going to have me more prepared this week, and I'm excited. What's it been like looking at I mean, yeah, it was it was awesome. Uh, a lot of stuff to learn and a lot of stuff to get better at. So, um, you know, of course, I was excited to watch the tape and excited to see where I could improve. So, I was I was I was glad to watch it. Justin, what have, what have you? Oh, sorry. Uh, there, there's not one particular thing. Like I said before, I just need to get better in um, all areas. Justin, what has made you comfortable in the time that you've been on the field so far in the NFL? Um. I think my teammates, you know, just practicing with them every day, um, just having them, you know, I think they have a lot of trust in me. So um, them just, you know, being about being behind my back and, um, you know, just just having my back and having confidence in me that I'm going to go out there and execute. I think, you know, that's kind of kept me comfortable and uh, kept me, you know, poised and confident. How has your stoic poise, like nature throughout all of the big games and big moments and it just kind of, man, like you said, you're just very stoic and calm all the time. How will that help you for going on the road, making your first NFL start in an environment to kind of appreciate that, that you are that way? Yeah, I mean, I used to not be this way. So, um, you know, I've, I've definitely learned from past experience, you know, past first starts. Um, I still remember my first start in high school. I was nervous as can be, but... Um, yeah, so I think, you know, just being more this way, just uh, being stoic and, you know, being even killed, I think that just keeps my mind calm and, you know, allows me to think more. Just one of the first things that pop out to you when you watch that's Browns defense. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of great, you know, players on their defense. You know, Miles Garrett, Jadavion Clowney, they have a great secondary. Um, so they play fast and they play with speed and they play uh, physical. So that should be a great challenge for us. With your, with your style of play, what does it do to you in terms of pre-snap, whatever, when you have two defensive ends on both sides that are that dynamic? What does it do to my style of play? Does it change at all your preparation or in terms of just knowing where those guys are at all times? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, teams are going to have the game plan for those guys. Of course, those guys are, you know, game changers. Uh, they're, they're great players, so uh, we're definitely going to, you know, have something set for them. Justin, how did you change that to, to go from sort of being, you said, nervous before he starts to being this even kill guy? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think my mindset, you know, has been like whatever's going to happen is is, is going to happen. So there's no reason for you to be nervous about it. And you know if it doesn't go your way, it doesn't go your way. But you know in the past where I was nervous and it didn't go my way, I look back on the situation. I wish I would have just said you know f it and just went out there and you know throw throw every ball the the, the way I should have and, and stuff like that rather than you know second guess myself. Was there a moment? Was there a moment where it flipped? Sorry. Was there a moment where it sort of flipped for you? Uh yeah, I, I would say probably my junior high school is when I. Kind of uh, like finally got confidence in myself and stuff like that. So um, I think that's where it kind of just the whole story changed. Justin, how much more comfortable are you in being a leader in vocal, sharing what plays you like and don't like when you are the starter versus when you were the backup? Um, I think, you know, uh, it's the same for me. You know, I think me and Coach Nagy, we have a great relationship. So, um, you know, the, one of the first things he told me when I got here was, you know, we need to have the best relationship. So, um, you know, I feel very comfortable going up to his office and talking to him whenever about anything. So, um, um, I'm, I'm, it's, it's no, it's no different between, you know, when I was a backup to, to now. So, yeah. Justin, there was a, a third and thirteen in the late in the third quarter on Sunday where um, you, pr it seemed like you pretty quickly just decided to go to Allen Robinson on the left side, short of the sticks, but he ended up picking up the first down with his legs. What did you see on that play that made you go that way? Uh, yeah, that's just our read. So um, uh, that plays a one high, two high read. And, you know, they're going down to one robber on that play. And, you know, that's just the read. So I'm not going to um, alter, 
you know, where I go with the ball just because of the down and distance. I'm just going to follow the rules and uh, go through the reason, go where I'm supposed to go with the ball. Justin, you've been very respectful of Andy throughout this whole process, but being a competitor, any part in the back of your mind, is any part of you thinking, this is my opportunity to win this job? I think, you know, every time I go in, I, I have that mindset. Um, of course, I'm, I'm going to go out there on Sunday and play my best, and of course, just, just try to um, come out with a win. And, and that's my main focus. My main focus isn't, you know, winning the starting job. You know, I think that's going to come with time. So um, my main focus right, right now is just to prepare the best I can and, you know, go out Sunday and uh, execute at, at a high level. Justin, over time you've developed a relationship with Andy just in the quarterback room. What, what do you feel emotionally knowing your first start comes because, you know, he's injured? I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it sucks coming this way, but, you know, I think injuries happen in football, and, of course, we all know that. So, um, you know, of, of course it sucks to, to, for it to happen like this, but, you know, I believe everything happens for a reason. So, uh, you know, we, we might not know what that reason is now, but um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, you know, as, as time goes along. Justin, you've been very vocal about feeling like you belong here and that you were made for this. Yeah. How ready are you for this stage and this opportunity? I think I'm ready. You know, um, you know, of course, uh, I've been preparing for this moment a long time. So uh, my mindset doesn't change. I'm still going to, you know, uh, play it, play like football and just prepare uh, the best I can, like I said before, and just, you know, uh, get a lot of practice reps in and just, Study, 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 and you know, just just get more comfortable and more confident with the plays and, and stuff like that. Well, Justin, you're you played plenty of big road games before. With this being your first week of you know starter reps, is there anything different about prepping for a road game than it would be a home game, and what is that difference? Uh, I would say the biggest uh, difference is just the cadence. That's not being able to you know yell out the cadence. So we ha we're probably going to go on a silent cadence. But yeah, that's the biggest difference. What specific things do you do to? Block out the distractions. Don't don't entertain them. Um, it's, it's that simple. Um, you know, when you're focused on something, and you know that's really the only thing that matters. Uh, the other stuff outside of that tend to not matter to to me at least. But um, yeah, I mean, so before my goal is to you know prepare the best I can and uh, be ready for uh, Sunday. Justin, you said after your first two games that it's been a crazy journey for you to get to this point and kind of taking it all in. What, what does it mean to you to reach this point where you're making a start in the NFL? I mean, it means a lot. Um, of course, you know, um, when if you told me, what, seven years ago, eight years ago, that I'd be in this position, uh, I probably wouldn't believe you. But, you know, I think as time went along, I just got more comfortable and kind of, I guess my goals kind of, you know, got bigger and bigger in there. You know, of course, I'm here. So, of course, around this time last year, um, I was, of course, had an idea that you know, I could, I could, I could be in this position right now. So, actually, seeing myself in this position and um, being able to get the start on Sunday, it's uh, amazing. So, yeah. Justin, choose to bail out, whether we're going to climb, whether we're going to spin out, flush out. Yeah, me and uh, JP actually talked about that today, but I mean, it's it's really just based on the DN, how he's rushing. So if he, you know, does an inside move, then I'm more inclined to, you know, go outside, or if he's rushing hard up the field, then I'm more inclined to go uh, up and underneath. But um, it's it's uh, mostly just based on the DN, of course, and uh, how the tackles are blocking. 